this week on the Vic Meyer Show, I'm back in Northern California for what I thought was the Arcata Farmer's Market, but it's the Arcata Bay Oyster Festival and the Farmer's Market as well. Humboldt Redwood Fisheries Exhibit down in Scotia, California, just outside of Eureka, about 25 miles, and also a historic logging town. Then we're gonna learn a little bit about the history of Headwaters Forest and take a walk around the preserve itself. This is the Headwaters Forest Reserve. And when I was in college, this was quite the hot bed of controversy and a lot of protest. And finally, Mickey and I wrap up our day by going to one of the coolest dog parks we've ever been to. But first, thank you to my subscribers, Thomas Wendover and David Reimers. Let's just call you what you are, producers. And I do appreciate you, as well as Whitney Jones. Mickey and I really love that care package that you sent us, and especially that coffee mug. Well, I do love my new coffee mug. Thank you, Whitney. I'm at the Humboldt Redwood Fisheries Exhibit right here in Scotia, California. Once historic logging town and company town, if you will. And now home to a really unique little side adventure. Turn right, then turn right onto Main Street. About 25 miles south from the city of Eureka, and just across the bridge from Rio Dell, you'll find the historic logging town of Scotia, California. Once a company logging town, and now a beautiful place to call home. Because Scotia just oozes Americana. It reminds me of a John Cougar Mellencamp song. It really reminds me of why I love small town America and visiting out of the way places just like this. And this is part of the Mendocino family of companies who employ more than 900 people in the area, logging over 440,000 acres, and doing so as sustainably and cleanly as possible. And we want to thank them for providing this great exhibit and this great opportunity to be close to nature. Um, beach. We all love. This is the Humboldt Redwood Fisheries Exhibit, located just outside of Eureka, about 25 miles or so, in a little town called Scotia, which was once a historic company logging town, and now is home to this beautiful little scenic gym. What do you think, Vicky? <laughs> Pretty interesting, huh? Yeah. Look at all them fishes. There's this neat kind of Asian aesthetic or vibe, if you will, in here. I love it. What do you think, Nick? Probably ready to go play, huh? Enough of this Zen stuff. Mickey's being a really good sport, so I better reward her with a little bit of fun time. I do have something else in store. I got a couple more things in store for this week. So let's get on with the show. It is a beautiful day. Let's not let it get away. This 
this is the Headwaters Forest Reserve. And when I was in college, this was quite the hot bed of controversy and a lot of protest. You may have heard about the famous Julia Butterfly Hill who lived in a tree here in the Headwaters Forest to help bring attention to the cause and lived in that tree, never touching the ground for like a year and a half or something. Really the whole time I was here in college because about the time I graduated in 1999, is when the Headwaters Forest became a reserve and is now preserved for us and generations to follow. And it is just a beautiful place to pontificate, meditate, do my best to be great. As I was saying, Julia Butterfly Hill was a huge influence around here and really helped ignite the fire that would burn through this community and stoke a lot of people's interest, inspiration, tug at their heartstrings, whatever you want to call it. Julia was able to call attention to this cause with the help of many other people, celebrities and ordinary folks like some of the kids who I went to school with that got arrested for chaining themselves to some logs in the Congressman Frank Riggs office and uh, throwing sawdust everywhere. Oh, that was a big controversy for them. They didn't like that sawdust being thrown in their office. I do get it, but you know, civil disobedience, well, hell, that's part of being an American. And when you're like me, it's part of being a punk rocker too. Fight the power. Before you is Visionaries Grove, dedicated to the visionaries and activists who sacrificed countless days, months, and years to protect the Headwaters Forest Reserve and to future generations who will help steward their legacy in Headwaters and beyond. Before you are 50 redwood seedlings planted June 19th, 2015. The Headwaters Forest Reserve is home to many fish and wildlife species protected by the Federal Endangered Species Act. Management of the reserve is designed to preserve and restore the habitat necessary for these species to thrive. Bonnie Raitt was amongst one of the many celebrities who would come and join the protest efforts. And oftentimes she'd stay at the hotel where the restaurant was that I worked at. The first restaurant I ever served or made drinks at. Restaurant 301. We'll definitely have to dig into this topic again at a later date. It's just an interesting connection. And an interesting life with some pretty interesting stories along the way perhaps we'll get into those but i don't like telling stories out of school all right we're going after years of controversy, Pacific Lumber Company sold the largest stand of old growth redwoods left in private ownership. The decision to preserve headwaters came down to the wire. The public gained 7,472 acres of land, an area the size of the town of Eureka. This purchase became the Headwaters Forest Reserve with the purpose to conserve and study the land, fish, wildlife, and forest occurring on such land while providing public recreation opportunities and other management needs. Mickey agrees.
Right, Mickey? We had fun. All right. Now, it's time to go to the dog park, right, baby? You ready to go to the dog park? Are we going to see some friends? We're going to see some friends? It's definitely time. She's been a very, very good girl. As for Julia Butterfly Hill, with $50,000 in money that was secured through donations and support from organizations. You ready? Let's see if there's any ability to play with at the park. Julia was able to purchase her blood tree Luna and secure a 200 foot buffer zone around the ancient giant that served as her home for 738 days. Man. All right, Mick. I hope I can be as committed as she Maybe. was once to do something quite like that. Want some water? This has got to be one of the more awesome fish free areas I've ever been to. Yeah. Yeah. That bring me for the first time. Hi, good girl. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Go get him. Well, that was a very full day. And Mickey had a great time playing at the dog park, so. Are you having so much fun? Is this one of the best dog parks you've ever been to? It's time to bid you adieu. Remember. When you're out there on the road, keep it between the lines. Look out for Smokey because he's looking out for you. And as always, thank you for allowing me to entertain you, presumably. This is the Vic Meyer Show every Wednesday on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe. Always love those comments, so keep those coming as well. And I'll see you next week right here on the Vic Meyer Show, only on YouTube. baby girl let's load up yeah good girl all right you ready he's a good girl right, now we gotta go back and get it that's why we don't do a whole lot of these shots i know you want to walk yourself huh you have you had it are you done are you saying let's go she wants to go, and I don't blame her. Get going. Good girl, Mickey. I'm so proud of you. Good girl. Yeah. Are we having fun? Yeah. And a baby. Let's go to the dog park, huh? Let's go to the dog park. Yeah, let's go to the dog park. Yeah.